Welcome back to the Tracy Trendy Show, my lovelies. Another day, another dollar, and another chance confession. We finally get a little mustard seed of truth when Chance has his uh, meeting with Taylor. Now, in that meeting, Chance confessed that he cheated on Taylor and it was so devastating to her because he was always accusing her of the cheaterization. But you know, the one who protests too much is usually the one who's doing the most. That's what I say. But anyway, Taylor had the foresight to ask Chance. Now, have they all been with women? Because she had the suspicion. Well, she actually had the proof that he was entertaining a man via text message. Of course, Chance was saying at the time, it was just thinking that, uh, he was just thinking that uh, mm, 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 it was Taylor. That's who he was thinking it was. That's what he pulled out of his butt. He just said that he thought it was Taylor he was talking to. And he was sticking with that lie, even though there was two, almost 200 text messages between he and the neighborhood man whore. But he was sticking to it till it wasn't sticking anymore. He would tell Taylor that he would give her some of the truth. Some of the truth. And I don't even think it's the truth, my loves. But he was basically saying that um, he was with his buddy. They were drinking. He passed out on the couch. And um, somebody was doing, uh, uh, you know, doing a job on him. And when he came to, he was not standing to it. He just could not get into it. Now, if you want to believe that, I got a bridge I want to sell you. Be I don't believe that sanitized version that Chance was giving. I've heard plenty of stories about Chance in his prison time. And some of those men, they got to do what they got to do. And Chance was a man that had to do what he had to do in prison. Mainly because he stole this man's cigarette. And if you take anything without exchanging something in prison, then that is going to be a problem, my loves. That's going to be a problem. And Chance found out the hard way that, you know what, he's going to have to pay for that cigarette a hundredfold. And he had the nickname, allegedly, this is all alleged, but he had the nickname in the pokey. Now, his last name is, is Pitt. But in the pokey, they got creative, or do they have to get creative? Because he was being passed around allegedly, and his name was Cockpit. That's what I heard. And um, it all started with a cigarette that he took without permission. And he had to pay the hard way. So when he was telling Taylor about this story about, oh, I passed out the homies, um, I heard plenty of colorful tales about Chance in the pokey. And it seemed like at one point it was, you know, many, many, many men. Just like Taylor has been with many, many men. Um, he's been around. And I don't believe for one instant, this is my opinion only, I don't believe it was just one man or two or just one or two incidents that he's partake. I believe there's probably <laughs> a lot more than that. But this is Chance, you know, trying to clean up things. Even when he was telling Taylor that he was sleeping with a girl, he, was, he, he felt like he had to clean up and say that he was thinking about her when he was doing the other woman. So there, I have always known about Chance and a lot of those characters on the show, you know, I mean, I've heard some stories about some people, you know, they, they, they visit their girlfriend on the visitation day and then they go back to their celly and get down with the get down. And there's a lot of, um, transmitted diseases in the pokey, STDs. And if you're not, how does that happen? You know, you got to wonder, how does it happen? Because you get checked out before 
And um, but how does it happen when you've been in there in a while? Well, it happens, and you know more often than not. And I I know people know this. Well, some of those characters on the show are probably have partake just like Chance. Chance went wrong because he cheated, and Chance went wrong because he never told Taylor that uh, he's an equal opportunity man. They never said that. If he was honest with her, then that's, you know, I understand. But he wasn't. But then again, you know, she didn't um, give much opportunity for him t to reveal himself. No, no, no. She was just looking at his representative. And so time passed, and then she gets to see the real chance. And hopefully she doesn't, hopefully Taylor stays away from men for a long, 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 long time and get herself some therapy. That's what I say. And she said she might do it. Let's hope she does. Let's hope she stays away from these men because her picker is way off. And not only that, she doesn't wait too much time before she moves the man around the kids. So, no. Taylor needs to wait many years before she even dates, in my opinion. But anyway, my loves, back to Chance, back to Chance. Now, he's where, you know, he's been back to, to the pokey. You know, he misses that penitentiary smell back and forth. But let's keep in mind that he was around the, the, the town man whore because Taylor contacted the other person that was texting Chance over two, almost 200 text messages. And it was the town man whore. And that whole scene with Bobo, I think, I know it was fake, but the way that Bobo had Chance in that position against the wall, that says a lot. And, um, but anyway, Chance, hopefully, oh, he needs to go back and stay a very long time in the pokey. And he could be very happy and, and his society can be as well. That's my opinion. Hopefully he stays out. I don't see why he will, he's out in the bath. Who keeps bailing him out? I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand. But somebody is. And this is cash bond. That means you have to pay 100% of the bond money. But someone keeps bailing him out. So anyway, my loves, I don't know who it is. I only have suspicions. But in the meantime, in the between time, my loves, why don't you guys drop a line below? Let's discuss this uh, big confession of chance. And uh, subscribe if you have not subscribed because you're not going to get this commentary anywhere else, my loves. Okay? And hit that notification bell. Share and care. Hit the like button too. And I'll catch you all out on the flip side.